Citing research data is an important part of the research process since it fosters good research practices and it is crucial for achieving transparency. Getting cited also creates an incentive to share data which leads to positive reinforcement which in turn strengthens the research community in general and the open science community in particular. It is just as important to properly cite research data as when using any other kind of source and resource. And just like any other source, the cited data should be included in the list of references. The basic citation principles when using research data or published resources are the same. And at a glance, it may appear that uh, there is little difference between the citation of a published article and a data set. The mandatory parts of the citation are the same when citing a paper or a data set, but there are also num a few differences. Author, year of publication, title, identifier, and publisher are examples of components you should find in any kind of reference. Also keep in mind that special requirements may apply when working with multiple data sets, so-called derived data. When we break down the components of a bibliographic reference for a data set, it is only a few components, the version and the name of the archive, that reveals that this is not a citation of a published resource. When citing a data set, it is crucial to include the persistent identifier, for example, the handle or the DOI, since the data set can only be accessed online. The DOI link at the very end is the barcode of the data set. A few components in the reference are only used in data citations. These include the name of the data archive where the data set can be found and which version of the data set has been used. This is a particularly important piece of information if the data set has undergone ch change or revision since it was first published. The type of data used is also an important piece of information, for example if you have used the raw data or processed data. In some data archives that individual files within a, within a data set will have their own unique identifiers, which is particularly useful if you want to cite specific files. In such cases, the related identifier that leads to the full data set can be relevant to include in the reference. It's become increasingly common that a citation for a particular data set can be automatically generated directly via the data repository where the data set is stored, or via the data search engine you're using, just as you often are able to do when you look up a published resource in a library catalog. When finding a data set in the data search engine data site, for example, you can click on the button site at the bottom, whereupon a reference will be automatically generated. You can choose which citation standard you want to use. Most of the major research repositories, for example, Zenodo, Dryad, and any Dataverse-based repository also offer a similar service with auto-generated data references. However, you have to make sure that the auto-generated reference contains all the necessary information. If something is missing, you will have to add it manually. <coughs>